Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill, and if you are new here, um, my name is Jill. I'm a homeschooling mom. I have four kids living here full time. I do have a bonus son, but he is not here all the time, so yeah, I don't know. It's always weird when I say I'm a homeschooling mom of four. It just sounds like I'm saying I have four kids, but I have five. Okay, anyway, um... Yeah, so basically uh, I post cleaning videos and um, like decluttering motivation, striving constantly towards minimalism and just simple, like simple, simple, just simple, okay? Like living simply, simple house, simple cleaning, like just, you know. Um, anyway, I am getting ready to just clean my house for the evening. As you can see, it's already dark. We had a full day of school this day and just we have so much going on right now that our house is just getting bad. Like really messy, just really um it, <sighs> Anyway, okay, so I'm just going to give a little backstory because um, people are going to wonder, you know, why is your house such a mess? No, it's not messy in this part. This is just toys, but, like, it really is. Okay, so when you get to the kitchen, you're going to be like, whoa. Um, <laughs> okay, so my dad was recently diagnosed with cancer, and that has been really hard. Um, but at the same time, we've been trying really hard to just, like, spend a lot of time with family and just, you know, what's most important in life is literally family. And so the house has kind of been on the back burner. Um, my kids also ended up getting the flu. So um, you will see I'm going to be taking this cushion off because this cushion got barfed on. Um, what also happened the day before this was uh, someone barfed off of the top bunk onto the bottom bunk person. And yeah, it's just, it's been crazy. Um, we've had the flu. I have, it was not the stomach flu. It was just um, like the flu flu, like fevers and cough and everything. But I have two kids that get hypoglycemic when they don't eat. And so because they didn't have, or well, it's just one of them that was sick. Um, she did not have an appetite because she had a fever and she just, you know, you have, when you have the flu, you don't have an appetite. Well, not eating actually causes her to throw up. So it's called ketotic hypoglycemia. And um, so anyway, that's why she threw up. It wasn't like stomach virus throw up. So that makes it a little better. Um, all right, enough about that. I am kind of arranging the furniture in a way that, okay, so first of all, I have ordered a new sectional for our living room and it's modular and it can be like, you know, rearranged and stuff, which is awesome for my personality because having ADHD, um, one of my favorite things in the world to do is rearrange my house and give it a fresh look, you know, just I'm always rearranging. So those of you that have been here a long time, you guys know that, um, but okay, my sister is coming to town. So my sister and her family will be here later this week, and let me just tell you, they have 13 kids, okay? They have 13 kids. So, um, and 10 of them will be coming with them, so, because some are older and married and stuff, but anyway, my sister, her husband, and their 10 kids are coming to stay with us. Um, they just, they want to be down here spending a lot of time with my dad as well. They just moved to Tennessee from Montana. Um, so anyway, they are all coming and we are so excited to have them. It's been a long time since our families have, oh wait, well we just did in, in summer. In the summer we were all hanging out, but still we're excited for them to come. Um, but I wanted some extra seating in the living room and the sectional is not going to get here in time. But my, one of my neighbors, like two houses down just posted on Facebook that they were getting rid of a couch and they wanted to give the neighbors first dibs. And so we're picking up a couch from them um, as soon as there's a break in the weather, which is in like two days. So right now we're having like rain and snow and in a couple days it'll be sunny and warm. So once it's sunny, 
we're going to go pick up that love seat from them and I'm going to put it like face, it'll be facing the TV and then the other two couches will just like continue to be facing each other with the coffee table in the middle. So I'm really excited about that because it's going to give us some extra seating while they're here because we'll probably be watching movies and we play lots of um, like card games and board games and stuff. So yeah, um, so I'm kind of just moving my furniture around to kind of accommodate them. So I just have, you know, um, extra people in mind when I'm moving stuff around in my house right now. So um, anyway, yeah, and I do just love moving the furniture every now and then just to be able to like clean really well underneath it too. So, you know, that's cool too. Um Anyway, I'm putting away this heater. We never, ever, ever use it. But there was one day where, because we have a wood-burning stove, and that's not, like, we don't have a heater, like, central heat. We don't have central air. Actually, the quilt hanging on the wall is um, hanging over our air conditioning unit, like our wall air conditioner, because cold air was just blowing in one day when we had an extreme windy day like 75 mile per hour gusts um so I hung that quilt over there to just try to keep it warmer inside but anyway our main source of heat is a wood burning stove and so we never use that little dish heater but one day the wood was like damp and it just I could not get a fire to stay lit and the house was cold so we were using it that day um yeah, I feel like I am talking way too much, so I'm going to go ahead and put on some music for you guys. Um, I really hope you all are enjoying this, like, slower-paced video style I've been doing. Um, it's a lot easier for me because it only takes me, like, an hour to film, and then I can... It takes me, like, 30 minutes to edit a video like this, too, um, whereas when I clean and film for like three hours, I can speed a lot more up and still have a good length video for you guys. But like I said, it's just like, we're literally in survival mode, like sick kids, um, my dad's sick, um, just like in homeschooling, like we're still homeschooling, you know, so life still goes on and it's just been a lot. So doing these hour long film sessions of like, you know, just tidying up my house for like an hour and then doing it this way. It just helps me to be able to keep up on my channel. If I was still trying to do like extreme clean with me's where I'm like cleaning every single room and it's like an all day cleaning marathon, those are just too hard right now. So I'm blabbering. I am going to, um, put some music on. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah
bitter truth to face Not that innocent We know what we did I'm a sucker for your love Okay, so see what I'm talking about? <laughs> the kitchen is so bad. Also, um, those of you that are new here, I have a really small house, and I do not have an attached garage or anything like that. I don't have a walk-in pantry. Like, I don't have any good spot to put things. Um, so a lot of times my kitchen ends up looking like this. Um, I have a couple projects that I'm in the middle of. Like, I'm refinishing my brother's um, pool table triangle thing that's right there on that bench. Um, I'm refinishing that piano bench and we buy oats in bulk because we go through so many oats. Um, we have a lot of kids. We're home all day. We cook from scratch. Like there's just reasons why we have so much stuff. Um, that has nowhere to go like so it's a constant like battle of trying to have my house look tidy and then not having a good place to put things but yeah this was an out of control mess like the trash was overflowing it was ridiculous I was actually really mad um while I was cleaning right now so I know a lot of you guys are like you're so patient and blah 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 no I was actually I got in a horrible mood after cleaning in here because it really frustrated me that people kept piling trash on the trash can when it was overflowing instead of just taking out the trash for me. And, you know, so anyway, um, so I do, I have my moments, guys. I have my moments where, like, things really irritate me. Um, but anyway, um, so, yeah, I don't know. When I'm hurting You always pick me up when I am down It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning You just have your ways to get me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right When I'm around you We could break up and then make up Come back to you, you move me in a way never thought anyone could you get me high your my drug when I am feeling blue It's all you Cause you're the one Yeah the one Yeah you're the one Yeah the one You touch me I can't believe that you are mine Love's a gun and baby, you're my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right Just being around you We could break up and then make up I always come back to you, you move me in a way never thought anyone could 
I'm moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together ooh. and one day she said write me a love song cause I know you'll make it beautiful and maybe I'll Call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you And I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started
started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know I did a lot of bad things And never did I give in Just cause the thought of being vulnerable Made me feel less than I am I have never felt home Till you entered my Thing I did, and I want you to know, was letting 
thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!